Open your mask in the interview. Uh, Open sir. it. Sir, I am suffering from cold. Are you okay, more comfortable okay. if I am? Okay. 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 Yes, sir. You are from Uyweti? Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. So this is agriculture university. What are the other universities in Odisha? Um, like sir, CET is a uh, university. NIT is another university. Where NIT is university. Uh, NIT is where uh, we pursue engineering and all. Uh, NIT university. CET is a university. Uh, what are the universities in Odisha? Like agriculture university. Yes. What are other universities? Sir, I'm least aware NIT. about it already. Yes, sir. Sir, as far as my concern, I see okay. that is uh, converted into uh, engineering. Oh, whatever university, Sambalpur University, or Jyoti, University, is also a university, but okay. sir, I uh, thought that to give example of other university rather than okay, okay. you belong to Yes, sir. So it is a smart city. Um, yes, Do you agree sir. that it is a smart city? So uh, our government is working upon it. Uh, it is a, a city that is uh, going forward to achieve its hundred percent uh, smartness. Because in Bhubaneswar also we have uh, uh, some villages. It is. Who declares a city as a smart city? Who gives the ranking a city number one, number two, number three like that? Which is the authority? It's the uh, Ministry of Urban and Housing Affairs. Mm. So tell me what is the startup project? So startup is a is basically a uh, entrepreneurs who mm. go, come about uh, their idea and share their innovative. Are they different from traditional business, traditional enterprises? Yes, traditional is something that is uh, going on from uh, generations or from their uh, just upper generation or from many generations. Uh, that could be a handloom thing that we already know is we know that uh, there are handloomers there is traditional like Sambal Puri in Odisha. We have uh, that is a traditional business. We have entrepreneurs who uh, uh, from that textile business. What is the green project? That project basically a uh, concern about that uh, about our environment and agricultural needs and uh, uh, green field project, okay. brown field project. This is not like agriculture or climate or this is no link to that. So okay. find out what is a green field project and brown field okay. project. Okay. You tell me, banks are running after cross selling. Why? Um, uh, there are various uh, reasons for it. I guess uh, the one is. Uh, uh, sir, because of the pandemic, we uh, many. You know what is cross selling? You know, no? What is cross selling? Uh, yes. What uh, is cross selling? You know. Uh, so, uh, for my. There is no link with pandemic before after. It is always there. Yes. So, if you know what is cross selling, mm, then, then why do they yes. cross selling? No, sir, I am hearing this term okay, for the first it, time. It, 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 it. What is the deficit financing? Deficit budgeting for the government of India? Which <laughs> Sir, in uh, every financial year at the starting, a uh, government decides a budget and uh, fixes a value that uh, we are supposed to rely on uh, in case of our uh, every uh, well, financial needs. But uh, if uh, that uh, amount. You tell me in one sentence, don't give lecture. Tell me in one sentence what is deficit financing. That's all. One or two sentences, that's all. So if uh, the amount that is uh, decided by the government to spend in a year, uh, that uh, actually over uh, overlooks that amount is less, and the amount that we actually have uh, uh, spent is more, then that is different. Can you not speak like that? If the expenditure is more than the revenue is expected, uh, so, one sentence less. Sorry, sir. Uh, I actually belong to physics background, mm -hmm. and uh, I am. So these are the basic things for any language. I know. Sir. It's sorry, not a question of whether it's Sanskrit or Odia. The basic knowledge. That is okay. 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 When the next budget is going to be introduced in the parliament, presented in the parliament. February one. February one. February first. Fast yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Very good. What is the GDP? What do you understand by GDP? Gross domestic product. What is that? What does it represent? 
it represents the country's uh, overall production and uh, domestic value cost mm. and growth rate basically so which sector contributes maximum to gdp in india sir it uh, is agriculture yeah and nowadays we are to moving from agriculture to industrialization to uh, don't beat the bush wildly without okay. now okay. means now it means bully it is the minimum what you said is the lowest in the agriculture uh, lowest agriculture is the lowest you uh -huh. find out which is first which is second which is it third sir in why mean, export promotion what is the purpose of export promotion export promotion why do we should we export i can export kari ba rejit ka ko sir we should uh, because it will increase our uh, from uh, foreign uh, currencies why current currency is important it is important in case because we don't uh, not all the objects are available in our country we need to import some of the things also so for that for the transaction we need foreign uh, currency what is ethanol ethanol is uh, uh, from crude oil we are get, uh, no um, uh, so what is blended fuel Student that, physics, no? what is yes, yes, that so is uh, uh, because uh, petroleum and uh, the natural gas, food oils, they are the non-renewable sources of energy, which mm -hmm. are uh, decreasing by time. Mm -hmm. So and also they are uh, polluting our environment. So okay. we are moving. Why to, India is importing more and more crude oil from Russia now, in spite of war and everything? Because of sir, uh, Russia is providing us uh, um, uh, less tax on it. And I tax. guess it is not uh, less tax. Um, yes, sir. Tax. Uh, that should be. What is GST? Uh, how many types of GST are there? Uh, sorry, sir. I don't know how many types. Oh, sir. You have mentioned your quality as a imperfectly perfect person. What does it mean? Even I am. I could not understand what it is. Imperfectly perfect person. See, less plans. Sir, as you can see, I uh, am not able to answer all the questions Achha. correctly. Achha. But I am trying my best uh, to my uh, knowledge to answer whatever I know and present myself in a good way. So in my uh, real life also, I don't do all the things in a uh, uh, perfect manner, but I give my 100% to uh, make my wrongs right. Achha. So this is called imperfectly perfect person. Achha. Achha. I guess. I want to see you in your school. Okay. She was not in the class. Hmm? She was not in the class. Okay, class. Your classes you are not attending? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any in this Bani classes you are attending? No, sir. No. Okay. <coughs> okay, yeah, actually we have talked about this uh, deficit budgeting. Yes. Which, what is that policy for the, of the government? What is its name? Uh, about deficit budget. The deficit budget financing or de what deficit budget? Uh, sorry, sir, I am unaware. Do you have any idea about the fiscal policy of the government? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have heard about this talk. Fiscal policy. Yes, sir. Okay. Who who is the authority? Sir, a financial minister. Uh, financial minister. Minister. Hmm. Miss, uh, what is the ultimate objective of this fiscal policy? Sir, fiscal policy are for the stability of the economy and for developing and the growth motive is meant. Okay. Okay. In that, in to contrast to that, the economic policy is there, monetary policy is there also. Yes, sir. Okay. What are the purpose for this monetary policy? Sir, monetary policy is basically the lending, borrowing of the money that is in the by the government or by the uh, any authorities, industrialization, or the, it uh, can be by the uh, farmers or not. Farmers, farmers. No, okay. they are not directly involved in the monetary policy. That is the borrowing and lending of uh, kind of a loan that I am aware about. Achha. But the go and find out what you have uh, answered. Yes, what was yes, the sir, question sure, and sir. what you have answered? Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. okay. What are the various tools of this monetary policy? Various tools, tools about of this monetary policy. Uh, sorry, sir, I'm unaware about it. I'll read about it. Any idea about the open market operation? Of yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know what the is, open market operation. 
that is uh, that i was trying to explain maybe my uh, way of uh, defining a term is not correct because i just have read about all those things mm -hmm. um, open market operation is uh, that by which uh, the same that we uh, lend or borrow money from the government or the government uh, uh, borrow money from other uh, i mean other organizations mm -hmm. and uh, it is a way what which situation government borrow money and so which market operation is borrowing and lending what you want to say uh it is a operation that we uh, make out try to uh, balance the inflation and the money flow in the uh, how, how the open market operation is related to dollar at present days by government of india dollar the presently uh. government of india is making open market operation in dollar have you got an idea no sir i'm talking that it is for the inflation control and all these things yes sir India is now releasing dollars. Dollars. Cost is so high. Why? You read it. Yeah. Uh, you read it. Go and read. Okay. Sir. You know, I have idea about retail loans. One is the commercial loans, business loans. One is retail loans are there. Which are these retail loans? Any idea? Mm, no, sir. I don't. No. Okay. What do you want? Both the two. What I want to know. Yes, sir. Can you? Any idea about the banking sector in India? How they work? what kind of how many kinds of banks are there so there are uh, basically four types of as far as uh, my knowledge um, i don't know mm -hmm. their why ask for your knowledge <laughs> yeah hmm? you are in the same as far as i had i had i know yes sir. what i think what i presume you are not that is not your source you are borrowing sources from others hmm? uh, okay sir. So how many banks are there? How many commercial banks are there in India? Sir, so twelve. Twelve banks. Yes. Can you name four? Yes, sir. A State Bank of India, a Punjab National Bank, Bank of Baroda, Canara Bank, etc. Sir. Why they are called commercial banks? Because they uh, have the ownership of government more than the. Why they are preferring commercial banks, not private sector banks? For job? Uh, because. They are paying more salary also. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. But the stability of the job that, as far as concern, is more in public sector rather than. What is exactly you mean by stability? Is our working or our salary? No, sir. Yeah. Working, we have to work. We have to uh, uh, do our part no, of the job. Stability. Exactly, what stability do we mean? Uh, sir, in a uh, uh, private sector bank, that uh, we don't know uh, what is the time period of our uh, working. That uh, if someone wants, if some higher authority wants, they can uh, uh, hire fire us. But in government, uh, it is uh, not so. You know, Reserve Bank of India, who controls these banks, who regulates the other? Yes, regulates. sir. RBI, there is. All banks are subject to the RBI. Yes, sir. Regarding labor laws, yes. uh, all banks are subject to labor laws. Yes, sir. Let's do. All banks are subject to Shop and Establishment Act. Yes. Then why? What is there in the private sector bank? How can they make the market for the borrowers? Are you aware? No, sir. Then, then if there is nobody working in the private sector bank, do you know most valued bank? Who is the most valued bank? HDFC. Then the Consumer Bank. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Do you know the staff strength of ICICI and HDFC Bank? Yes. You are working. Yes. Sir. Being another thing, you being a lady, suppose you are doing for all India job. Yes. So you are posted to Madurai. Yes. No Madurai variety. Um, yes, sir. Variety. Sir, so Karnataka. Mm hmm. Madurai in Tamil Nadu. Tamil. Okay. The second largest city of Tamil Nadu. Let's just say that. Is your Tamil Nadu is spoken in Tamil? You are going to have man and Raj. Are you ready to go? Uh, yes, sir. I am. Sir, I am applying for a Pan India job. Yeah. So I am basically uh, I have prepared myself to work from uh, all over India. I know I have to leave my home one day. I have to work for the uh, bank I have posted to. So that is the uh, that is not my concern because it is not something that came out unexpectedly. I know it already. So I uh, can. You can manage this uh, shipping from your home state to other state. Ah uh, yes, sir. Are you mentally ready? Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes. Sir. And you have to be very clear about subjects. Very positive, that's it, no? Yes, sir. This is positive, basics. 